Everyone's Creatures. Today I'm at the Hamburg Reptile Expo, and this is a healer monster that comes to us from Hugh Jorgen Herpeto Herpetology. And today I'm going to talk about the Gila monster. The, si the scientific name of the Gila monster is Heloderma suspectum, which means studded skin. And the name Gila comes from the Gila River Basin, which where they were once plentiful. They are from the scrublands and succulent deserts of the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. They are a fairly large lizard, being able to reach lengths of 22 inches, and they are fairly heavy for their size. They have beaded skin with a reticulated pattern. It is a combination of black with orange, pink, yellow, or white, with orange being the most common. This one also has a bit of pink on his head. And they have short legs, so locomotion for them is fairly slow. And they have a fat tail that they use to store nutrients. They are very long-lived, with their wild lifespan being up to 20 years, and in captivity they can live up to 30 years old. They are one of the few venomous lizards in the world, and the only venomous lizard that is native to the United States, as the four species of beetle lizards, their closest relative, are from Mexico and Guatemala. Their venom is expressed from modified salivary glands, and the venom will run down two grooves on each of their teeth, which then gets put into their victim through uh, big lacerations caused by their teeth. There are dozens of different toxins in the venom, with four potentially lethal toxins. Luckily, the venom of the Gila monster typically isn't fatal to humans, though it is said to be the most painful venom of any vertebrate animal, being described as a feeling of fire and a heavy clamp. The highest risk of getting bitten by a heel monster is by picking up a wild one. So the best way to avoid that is to not pick up a wild Gila monster, which is frowned upon anyway as they are protected in the United States and every state that they are native to. Captive Gila monsters typically are docile. This guy is quite docile, though he likes to squirm around a bit as he gets adjusted. Gila monsters are shy animals that typically like to be left alone. If they're confronted, however, they will bite, and they typically don't like to let go without intervention. If two competing monsters meet up, they will start fighting by biting and scratching each other, though this usually doesn't harm the lizards as their skin is very tough. Gila monsters have a limited ability to regulate their own body temperature by evaporating liquids from their cloaca to cool themselves off. So they're quite literally sweating their asses off. In the wild, they are very opportunistic feeders and will eat pretty much anything they can get their mouth around and catch, such as the eggs of birds and reptiles, small mammals, small birds, reptiles, amphibians, and invertebrates, which are often crushed to death or eaten alive. They will also eat carrion. They are considered a threatened species, but in 1952, they were the first venomous animal to be given legal protection and are protected in every state in which they are native. Despite being venomous, Gila monsters are often sold as pets and can make great ones at that if they're cared for correctly. They need a very large enclosure with a 4x3x2 being adequate, though larger is always better, especially for keeping multiple together. They need a surprisingly low basking temperature of 86 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, with the ambient temperature being in the 80s. Their cloacal cooling will kick in if they reach temperatures of around 99 degrees or higher. They do need UVB for proper calcium metabolization. The substrate can be sandy soil, and you can give them rocks to bask on and a hide to get out of the heat. 
They should be given a water dish and they can be fed frozen thawed rodents. Though they are unlikely to bite, caution should still be used, especially when feeding, because they can lunge very quickly after food. So that is the Gila monster. Gila monsters are awesome animals that are really cool looking and fearsome. So that's the Gila monster. I hope you enjoyed. I'd like to thank Hugh Jorgen for Pathology for allowing me to use his Gila monster in my video. And I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I'll see you next one, Collins Creatures.